Hi! Ako si Teacher Weng. Maligayang pagbisita sa aking YouTube channel. Sa video natin ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay average speed. O, pwede rin natin tawagin na average rate. Ayan. So, ito ay problem related doon. So, kung gusto nyo matutunan yung topic natin ngayong araw, keep on watching. So, pag sinabi natin average speed, hindi natin gagawin na i-add natin yung dalawang speed sa kaidi-divide natin sa 2. Kung ilang speed man yung nahan dyan. Okay? So, hindi natin gagawin yun kasi mali yung makukuha natin answer. Meron tayong formula dyan, of course. So, eto yung formula natin. Average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. Ayan. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, syempre, i-add natin yung uh, mga distance and then yung time. Syempre, sinabi natin siya ay total. Okay? So, now, uh, meron tayong dalawang uh, distance dito. So, sabi dito, Nora drove 80 km to see her friend Arn at 40 km per hour. Okay, so then she drove another 30 kilometers from Arn's house to church at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, ano daw yung average speed for the trip? Okay, so gaya na sinabi ko, hindi mo i-add yung dalawang speed o yung rate sa 2. Okay, para makuha mo, hindi ganun. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, i-add na natin. So 80, ayan, plus uh, 30. So, i-disregard na lang muna natin yung unit. Okay? So, next, divided by um, total time. Okay, ang problema rito, wala tayong time. Okay? So, para natin malalaman yung time? So, dito, kailangan natin yung formula ng time. So, ba diba, sabi natin, time is equal to, okay, distance, over rate. So, dito, ang distance natin sa number 1, uh, yung first statement natin is 80. Okay? So, 80 divided by uh, 40. Okay? So, so, dito, this is equal to 80 divided by 40. So, we have 2. Okay, so, ang unit natin ay hours. Ayan. So, hindi ko na papaliwanag kung paano naging hours yun. So, naturo ko yun nung nakaraang video. Ayan. So, 2 hours. Ayan. So, obviously naman, hours talaga ang pinag-uusapan natin kasi yun yung nakalagay dito sa uh, given. Pero may computation talaga para sa unit kaya lang hindi ko na pinakita. Okay, so, 2 hours. Next. Para naman sa... Time, nung pangalawang beses na nag-drive siya. Okay? So, we have here, 30 kilometers. Okay? Tapos, 30 kilometer per hour din yung takbo niya. So, ilang oras siya magda-drive? So, we have 1 hour. So, ngayon, yung total, yung total time natin, 2 plus 1. Okay? 2 plus 1. Okay, so dito ang unit natin ay kilometer. Dito sa ilalim, ang unit natin ay hours. Okay? 80 plus uh, 30, we have 110. And then, divided by 3. Okay, so ang unit natin dyan ay kilometer per hour. Okay, so gamit tayo ng calculator kasi hindi magiging exact yung ating answer or hindi whole number. So, hindi kasi divisible ang 110 sa 3. So, 110 divided by 3. We have 36.666666 and so on. Or siya ay uh, non-terminating pero repeating. Okay, so ang answer natin is... 36.67, okay? Pagka ni-round up. Okay, so 36.67 kilometer per hour. Next, for our second example. Arn drove for 6 hours at rate of 70 kilometer per hour and 3 hours at 50 kilometer per hour. 
what was his average speed for the whole journey. So, kailangan natin ng total na distance. Okay? And syempre, susundan lang din naman natin yung formula. Wala tayong distance dito. So, para malaman natin yung distance, kailangan natin i-apply yung formula. ba diba? Ang sabi natin, distance is equal to rate times time. Ayan. Ang rate natin ay... Uh, dito sa unang statement natin, ayan, 70 and this is 6. So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung product. So, 70 km per hour multiplied by 6 R. So, ano yung magiging product? So, 6 times 70, we have 420. Okay, 420 kilometers. Next, i-add natin siya dito. Sa distance dito. So, ito naman ay 3 times 50. So, we have 150. Ayan, kilometers. Yan, dyan. Dito naman sa denominator, we have 6 plus 3. Okay, 6 plus 3. Ang unit naman natin dito ay hours. Okay? Ayan. Now, 420 plus 150. Ilag yun? So, we have here 570. Yan. So, 570. Then, divide natin siya sa 6 plus 3 or 9. Okay? Okay? So, 570 divided by 9. Okay? The answer is 63.33 bar. Kasi non-terminating, repeating. Or kapag ni-round up natin siya, this is equal to 63.33. So, ang final answer natin is 63.33 kilometer per hour. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Kung meron kayong mga request, match wrong video, or any topic na related sa channel ko, ilagay lang po sa comment section below. See you on my next one. Bye!